Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to talk about Black Queen Dark Knight written by A. Marie Avat. This book is a BWWM book, so let's get into it. The main characters of this book are Michaela and Jagger. Michaela is um is in a school is going to school to become a doctor and Jagger is a hitman. Jagger was um was on a job, well actually was requested to kidnap Michaela by Ava Sinclair. Ava Sinclair is one of the head person in the um in the assassin membership is like a blood oath kind of thing. It's like a group. So she's one of the top ranking um person in the assassin leadership, right? So she requested Jagger to do this job. But also know that Ava secretly love uh, loved Jagger and he just having a friend with benefit relationship with her. Right? So now Jagger went to do his job to kidnap Michaela. On his way to kidnapping Michaela, he ended up killing a few people. So, okay, fine. Jagger's job was to um, kidnap Michaela and bring her to Africa, to her country, where her mom and dad were king and queen, and they were killed. So now her uncle is now king king of the country. But because Michaela is of age now, they want to, and they know she's alive, they want her to basically... Uh, give up the crown so the uncle could still be king. So he's trying to find ways to manipulate this whole thing, right? By kidnapping her and bringing her there and like planting like seeds in her head. Anyway, that's Michaela's backstory. So while Jagger kidnapped Michaela and go, getting ready to bring her back to Africa, a few African militants came after him to ki to kill him and kidnap her. I'm like, he's already bringing her to Africa. Why would you even try to re-kidnap her? But they tried to make it seem like that wasn't the job. It was like a hush-hush situation. So anyway, it turned out that one of the person that um, the African militant that came to kidnap Michaela was her long um, longtime best friend that she forgot about. And it turned out that Jagger had no choice but to kill him because it's either kill or be killed, right? So unfortunately, he killed him. So now, Jagger had to divert his plan and move and go to Vegas now for a second job. So while in his second job, he ended up convincing Michaela to help him do the job. So between a lot of manipulation, a lot of plotting and like drama, he ended up um, getting Michaela and him to do this job together. So now the job is done. And he's like, they okay, while they were doing the job, they had a lot of relations, they had a lot of intercourse, they had a lot of communication, and they were basically getting to know each other. So they basically like fell in love with each other without actually saying that they were in love with each other, which was nice. But the plot twi the plot thickens because after the job was done and they um and he killed the guy that he needed to kill, the same girl, Ava Sinclair, had set him up to be killed. Because she was a she was a scorned woman, it turned out that Ava requested Jagger to do this job because she wanted to trust his faithfulness to her. When in fact they never had a relationship; they were just friends with benefits. But she was just kind feelings, so she ended up contacting the same African group again. Same person come and kidnap Michaela, and then she hired an outside party to kill Jagger. I was like, what in the world? There's so much drama, so much twist going on. I'm like, I can't believe it. Anyway, so now Michaela's back in Africa. And Jagger's still trying to fight for his life because he doesn't he doesn't really know the hitman that's after him. And he and also Ava had sold his information to the cops. So now the cops are after him. So he's like, oh crap. So it ended up that Jagger has his had a friend named Trick. Trick is um he's an old veteran from the same assassin crew. And he basically has, um, he's like a computer geek. So he ended up manipulating Trick um, Jagger's eye um, picture and make it seem like he's something different from what the police were looking for. And he was able to sneak him back into his country through London. So he went to London and went to Africa. Long story short, Jagger went back to Africa to save Michaela. While he did, he went there and um he ended up getting Michaela to come back to his house. And while he was while she was at his house, they were still trying to rekindle their relationship, right? So Michaela has been fighting these spirits for a long time because 
like her, her basically her homeland was trying to get in contact with her because she had blocked out her past with her mom and her dad like how they were killed and whatever so it ended up that Ava came to Jagger's house to kill Michaela because she was that scorned. And around the same time, the spirit spoke to her. So she ended up finding inner strength to kill an assassin, which was I thought was awesome because whoever heard of a regular Joe Blow killing a, a well, well-trained profession. So I was glad that she did that. And a spiritual leader, I think her name is Mama Ludi, Lundi, something like that, came and... Um, basically speak to Michaela and saying why would you turn your back on the spirits they were trying to help you all along but Michaela was she knew she was fighting her inner demon but she thought she was going crazy so long story short Jagger knew that Michaela had to run this country so in order for him to make Michaela run this country he ended up breaking both their hearts and lying to her and she went to her or her country she went back to her um her kingdom and basically put her uncle out of the kingdom out of the kingdom and arrested him for murder and extortion and while doing that she was trying to build back her land because the uncle had sold off pre pretty much the whole uh, three quarters of the country so she's trying to get back the property get back the land and stuff like that and that's basically what happened and then towards the end of the book Jagger came to Michaela and tried to like get back his uh, relationship with her but she wasn't trying to have it she's like you broke my heart I can never forgive you I always love you and all that stuff and then eventually Michaela forgave him and then that's where the book ended I'm like what I didn't like how it ended because it ended so short and abrupt. Like, you didn't know if she really forgave him, if they ever had a life together. It was too short for me. So I think there should be a, a novella or epilogue. Um, that's just my personal opinion. But overall, the book was good. It was drama-filled, high-action-filled, uh, loving-filled, um, chemistry-filled, romance-filled. It was very, very good. I think she... Um, a, a Marie did a great job besides from the ending it was good um, I think there should be a book too I'm not sure if she's going to have a book too or she's working on a book too but overall that the book was really good um, it's very long guys it's about it says about 600 pages but I think the book ended about 75% in the in the book because she had a second book on it so I would say the book itself is about 500 pages so check it out it's called Black Queen, Dark Knight by A. Marie Avant. Bye, guys.